Building a fuser is a very dangerous process, mostly because of the high electricity that's used in the reactor. Certain precautions need to be taken, such as wearing gloves that shield me from high electricity. The temperature in my fuser varies, but it's approximately 100 million degrees. My name is Jackson Oswald, and my Guinness World Records title is the youngest person to build a nuclear fusion reactor. So as a kid, I've always been interested in building things, and when I was younger, I always worked in my grandfather's wood shop, building little figurines and things like that, and all of that creativity eventually led up to building something like this. I've been interested in nuclear physics for about three years now, and my fascination probably started when I saw an article on Taylor Wilson, who is the previous youngest person to build a nuclear fusion reactor at age 14. Essentially, the difference between nuclear fusion and nuclear fission is that fusion is combining two things, whereas fission is the splitting apart of an atom. I have been able to use electricity to accelerate two atoms of deuterium together so that they fuse into an atom of helium-3, and also release a neutron, which can be used to heat up water and turn a steam engine, which in turn produces electricity. So I'm gonna be demonstrating what's called a demo run, so I won't be doing full-on fusion, but I'll still be creating a plasma within the chamber here. And the first step to doing that is turning on this pump here, which will remove most of the air, and that takes about 10 to 15 minutes for it to do its job completely. I've been working on this project for about two years and about a year and a half to originally achieve fusion. This project was very complicated. I'd say the hardest part was figuring out how to make the seal airtight on the chamber. So I spent about probably half a year trying to get the seal correct so that it wouldn't leak out air. So once this pump has done its job, then I turn on this pump back here. This is called a turbo molecular pump. What the turbo molecular pump does is it removes the last tiny bit of air needed to be removed so that fusion can occur. It spins up to 10 times faster than a jet turbine does. There are definitely some parts of my project where my parents were definitely questioning whether or not they should keep giving me funding to do this. There were a few moments during the project that I had some, some reservations. I would definitely be Googling things before he turned on various stages. You know, I didn't know enough, just like his mom. We didn't know enough to have reservations, to be honest. He did a great job of explaining it to us and all the precautions and why it was safe. And so I ultimately ended up trusting him. Once that air has been removed, I add back a tiny bit of gas in the form of deuterium. Deuterium is an isotope of hydrogen. An isotope means a type, so it's just a different variation of, the, of hydrogen. All right, so now the pump has removed most of the air from the chamber, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the electricity to create a plasma. So as you can see, a plasma that looks like a glowing ball of light has been created inside of the chamber. And if I were going on a fusion run, so I was actually attempting fusion, I would now add some of the deuterium gas, which is the fuel. I achieved this record when I was 12 years old. So as a young child, like most kids in my school, we all loved the Guinness World Records books at our school library, so we would all go down there and check them out every day. It feels great to be a Guinness World Records title holder. Hopefully, nuclear fusion will be cost-effective and a great source of energy that helps us stop climate change. So in the future, I'd like to open an organization that provides funding to kids like myself that aren't necessarily as fortunate as I am to have the funding to do something like this. So anyone that has the interest in the idea and the talent to do something like this, I'd love to be able to be the reason they're able to do it.